What's good, Dozy Gang? Welcome back to another banger video. So now today's video, as y'all can tell by the title, we got some really good gems for you guys. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share this video to all your reseller friends, your collector friends, anybody who wants shoes for steals, deals, under retail, retail, whatever. So yeah, let's get right into this video. All right, now I did kind of want to just do like a freestyle off my head, but I got like, you know, I got some key points that I want to mention to you guys on my phone. So I'm not going off trap topic. How are we gonna start? Well, yeah, how are we gonna start it off? You have to spend money. Y'all can't just go into these stores and be like, be my plug, be my plug, be my plug. You feel me? You have to spend money. You gotta, you know, people gotta see that you really about it. Like you really trying to get shoes, help them make sales, you know? Cause that's what, all what the store be about. like making sure they hit points sell points making sure this one person gets this many sales and all that so y'all gotta go in these stores and spend money i'm not saying go buy 50 pairs of black air forces but when you know releases come in you know make that little you know trip every two three four days whatever to your malls and spend consistent money at them stores just try to see all you know the shifts the people and you know start learning names and stuff like that all right next step you have to make friends now i'm not saying like they like they say it's no friends when you need to make money whatever you don't need friends but you kind of do because these people who are, you're trying to make your plug or something like that you kind they kind of do got to be your friend and then this all like is like one of the most important steps is because if you're doing it just to get money and like that's what i'm doing that's what a lot of people are doing but i'm also doing it for you know because i love shoes and i like you know I want to get personal shoes. But if you're just doing it to get money and you're trying to, you know, not be cool with anybody or just be cruel, just, you know, just like really say F everybody, this probably isn't a thing for you. You kind of got to be open and you kind of, I'm not telling you, I'm not saying like you need to go every single body you see, get them your bank account and be like, I, I, I want you to be my friends. But, you know, you kind of, you, you all know what I'm saying. Like I'm an introvert, I think it's called. And when I get a good vibe from somebody, I talk to them, I, you know, and that friendship builds. I don't go up to random people and be like, okay, I see you getting shoes. Let me make you my friends. That's not what I'm saying. If you help my business and you're cool and I can see myself chilling with you on a Saturday, or whatever, I'm going to talk to you. You feel me? So that's a thing about me. I only talk to people or I wouldn't say only talk to people, but if I see you interested in what I like, you know, or, or something about you is, um, you know, messing up with your personality, I'm going to genuinely draft to them i'm not fake i'm not finna be just because they got shoes you know be cool with them or because they work at Foot Locker, be cool with them there's a difference number three you have to be nice and respectful the thing about what i said nice and respectful because these are the people who are going to be texting you and being like hey bro i just got a i just got a size nine and a half in or anything like that you know like who wouldn't want to like if you like when, if you somebody come up to you like hey bro i hope you have a nice day whatever you gonna be oh yeah he was cool as hell you like you would help him like if you see him get jumped you would probably help him across the street no nah, but for real you guys need to be nice to these employees like sometimes if they have a bad day be like bro you you know cool out you mean you know like joke around with them and stuff like that be friendly so you know not only you can have them in your pockets but you know it, it, it really is like that but you know but yeah be nice respectful you know because at the end of the day everybody's human everybody's trying to make them some money so you got to treat them like humans number four you have to be real don't be one of those people like i said that phony kick it or you know anything like that and if you're just trying to make a plug or a connection let that be known like don't try to be like oh bro let me get your number what you doing blah 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 blase blase don't do that don't be one of those like be real with all i'm gonna say is be real with your intentions you feel me be 100 real if you want a plug just let them know like bro, i'm really looking for a plug if you want something else like a plug and a friend and a long time relationship which i will say that you really do need in this shoe game do that you feel me another thing is once you start getting these slugs and connections and stuff like that, you have to still hustle. Like, just because you got a plug at Foot Locker Chance and all that, don't mean you gotta stop going to the malls every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Don't rely on them to be like, hey bro, I got a size in, come get them, just to go to that mall. Still consistently go to the mall because there's gonna be times that they're not working, that you gotta go, you know, that, that, that they're not working, that they still get new shipment in. And then sometimes people just forget sometimes. So 
do not just because you get a plug you stop being consistent stop hitting the malls and stuff like that that's gonna really hurt your business and you never want to rely on somebody like that's the reason why there's passive income and there's there's not always just one income like you look at a rich person they don't only just have one income they have multiple because if one fails another one so that's why you have multiple plugs and you still hustle on top of that and like really like i'm not y'all probably want me to be like oh well you gotta go to the store cash app them ten dollars and you have a plug it's not like that for real like i'm gonna post up some pictures of some shoes that i recently got like i just got a whole bunch of fours like the military the infrared some cereal crocs for literally some of them under retail some for retail just because i was being cool with them and i wasn't being cool with them because i'm like oh i know they had shoes in the back i actually didn't like the infrareds like i didn't know they had any sizes left i was just being cool with him he was like bro what size you i was like i wear uh 10 why wow, what's up and then he brought them out so i was like bet you know and i was literally talking to him after i bought my shoes literally 10 minutes and then after that 10 minutes then he bought out the infrareds and I, I literally didn't know so a lot of it is literally being nice to people like it's not no send somebody ten dollars and you have a plug it's really just be yourself be nice like it's not it's really that simple like it y'all might think it's like really you know more but a lot of things in this shoe game like once you really get into it the biggest part of it the biggest like you know once you start really separating yourself from a lot of people is you have to be consistent you have to be outgoing and you have to be nice to people because good luck is a real thing good luck and blessings is a real thing and karma is a real thing too don't gatekeep i'm not saying like if you got a special plug don't let like everybody know who that is but at the same time if you get in shoes for 300 plug people like two six uh no, if you get in shoot, let me redo that. If you get in shoes for 200 and they going for two, 300, I wouldn't say go tell them, oh yeah, that's my plug. Go hit them up here at Foot Locker, blah, blah, blah. If they going for 300, sell them for like 280, 250. You feel me? Like bless people and be like, you know, tap my hand, I tap your hand. You got to be like that. When you go to find these Foot Locker employees that are going to plug you, you can't trip over 10 20 dollars you feel me you gotta be like hey bro you know y'all y'all just got these in and he oh yeah bro bet ask him you the manager all right bro i'm let me i'm trying to find a plug i tap your hand give them 10 15 extra dollars because most of the time when they do that they're not used to getting money so that 10 15 20 dollars are like dang like they start to think like i do this a couple more times i'm gonna have you know some good bread on the side and you know you gotta let them know that because they're giving you a shoe for 200 that's going for 300 you giving him two two uh, twenty dollars on top, ten, fifteen dollars. That's really not too much. You feel me? When you're making profits off of that, so you know, always, always think about that. Y'all gotta tap these people's hands in some type of way. Now, if you don't have money at the time or something like that, make sure you be like, all right, bro, get this shoe for retail for me. I'll give you another shoe in two, three, whatever weeks for retail. You feel me? Like, you know, you always gotta, you gotta be like a itch my back, I itch your back type of thing. You always have to think about that. Like, literally people don't get handouts it's either well some people a lot of people do get handouts but it's not going to be consistent you can't think like oh i'm gonna get, i'm gonna get handouts every single day until i'm dead and then i'll be you know smooth no you have to put in that work because there's three type of things i you know there's three type of things you can do you can get handouts for the rest of your life and nine times out of ten that won't happen unless you're rich and you have rich parents you hustle for it or you hustle and you're smart with it and what i mean by smart with it have either multiple streams of income have people help you you know stuff like that me personally i have my mom my girl my friends you know they come to the malls with me they come camp out with me i got my my reselling buddy shout out to jojo i'm you know leave his instagram out here so yeah like that's you know my reselling so yeah that's literally my reselling click like I got my friend, got my girl, got my mom, you know, and we be hitting the malls every now and again, raffles, and then mix them in with my connects, his connects, her connects, you know, everybody's connects. And you know, now you looking at, you turn one pair into 15, 20 pairs. So 
on top of this is another hidden gem on top of you finding connections make sure you find you some solid people or some solid friends that you can run your business with that they're not going to be greedy and just try to take all your profits but at the same time you can't be greedy too you have to tap other people's hands on top of that if you make a 50 dollars profit and your man's really helped you and was really the reason why you got to split that with him if your girl was the reason you have to split that with her you, you once you get over that you know mountain hill or whatever you want to call it you will be so much successful in this world and literally in reselling shoes now i wouldn't say i'm the best reseller but i am good at what i do i would say like i make a lot of money off of it i made a lot of money off of it and i don't gatekeep now i do got some secret i'm not just gonna expose because you know then i'll just be dumb and i'll be you know really dumb but the stuff that I couldn't tell you, I would definitely tell you guys. And all I ask is for if you, all I ask literally is just to make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share, and yeah, continue to tap in. And if y'all need any more tips or anything like that, you know, tap my Instagram. I'm gonna put my Instagram right here or whatever. And yeah, it's like, it's literally that simple, y'all. Like literally, I don't know if I already posted the pictures in here, but if not, I'm gonna post some more pictures, like bulk shoes, shoes that I just got yesterday, today, like off of you know my connections and stuff like that two things that you really need to learn from this video is make connection and make plug and be consistent and don't stop hustling because of one thing and what i mean by that is basically multiple streams of income multiple streams or multiple ways to make some money you feel me don't rely on one thing don't rely on one person my fault don't rely on one thing don't rely on one person and you will see yourself shoot up in this reselling or if you're trying to collect shoes you will be saving so much money collecting your shoes so you can put them on your feet. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed these hidden gems. Like I said, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share this video to everybody you guys know. It would be greatly, it would be greatly appreciated. My bad. Hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. My bad. Right before we end today's video, make sure you guys go. I posted like right here. My other reselling tip video hit like 2.9k on the road to 3k. Make sure y'all go watch that if y'all haven't already. It's some, it's some, it's some hidden gems over there, but like not a lot in this video. So I'm gonna continue to be, I'm gonna continue to be giving y'all some more gems. So yeah, make sure y'all show me some love so I can show you guys some love and make y'all help y'all make some chicken. All right, those again, we out.